What's up guys? This is Jake Carnes. And in this video we're going to take it a little old school. With some crayons. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. I mean, I haven't used these guys since I was like five. Let's get started. The classic Crayola crayons. I came across a box of 64. I was actually gifted the box uh, last year, I think for Christmas as a joke. But the joke's on them because I'm going to use this now. Uh, there's so many colors to choose from. Decent size. I think this box goes for about, I don't know, 5 to $10, I'm going to say. Last time I used crayons, I think I was using them in coloring books. Uh, yeah, and they weren't that great. <laughs> The very first thing we're gonna do is gonna sketch out what we're gonna draw. But we're gonna do it really, really light. And I'll be using a 2H Blake Studio drawing pencil. Uh, it's usually my go-to, aside from an F. We, we can get into the drawing pencils in another video. But for now, I'll just be using a 2H. Now I'm taking three color pencils. A red one to go over the head and the top feathers of the macaw. This is just an outline so you, you kind of know where the, the colors are going to go. Then I'm going to take a yellow one and I'm going to outline. And then the last ones are going to be the blue one, which are the longer feathers. And afterwards, you know, we got to pull out that Mars plastic and erase, 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 erase. We're just going to erase light enough just so that we can get that pencil off and keep the color pencil. So I can start coloring. I'm gonna do it very light. I'm not pressing down on this, I'm letting the crayon do its thing. This is what you would call in a painting blocking in. Where you just lay down the color, you know, just to pinpoint where everything's gonna be and what color you're gonna use. And then you just work on top and you take the next color and you work on top of that and, and so on. I'm doing that with crayons because I don't know if you've ever used the crayons before. If you press down too hard, they get very pasty. If you're interested in what colors I'm using, you can see them in the description below. I I listed the exact ones that I used. Uh, I didn't list all the ones that were in the box, just only the ones that I used. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you want to see more of these crayon drawings. I wouldn't mind. Maybe I'll upgrade from a 64 to, a, I don't know, 96 or something. I don't know what comes after the 64. I'll figure it out. I'll get it. Why not?
When I'm working with the crayons, I go in a circular motion, very light. I don't want to leave any streaks from going left to right or up and down or any of that. I just circular motion to, you know, keep it nice and, and smooth. I know I'm, I'm going around, I'm layering the crayons and I'm being very soft with them. On the edges though, I'm, I'm pushing down just to get those really nice sharp edges. But only on the edges, not throughout the whole drawing. signature and we're done. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. I'll see you guys soon.